Hey YouTube, Windraiser here. I'm trying to do a new setup with my phone. All right, YouTube, Windraiser here, coming to you with another Transformers review. And today I figure I start off the week of Bruticus. Um, now there are five members, but there are it's the G2 set, so there's six. Two of them will be done together, uh, and then that will lead to the final major combination of all these guys. So each one of these I'm going to do in vehicle, then robot, and then I'm going to end them in combined mode. So let's get on with this. So here we have the Generation 2 Blast Off. Uh, yes, he, mine has two guns. Uh, this is from the um, other Bruticus set, the G1 coloration. But I do like this Blast Off. I like the purple on him with the black um i have the hand here back here for the thrusters so i've got that going on he's a cool jet mode i do like the wings um the main wings black and all this purple metallic purple going on just not much of a fan of the white i do like the metallic purple i do like that hundred side okay Flo floof go away um, a side-by-side -side size comparison of him next to a, another, to any other Transformer. Here he is next to Titan's Return. Uh, I think this is Chrome Dome. I can't remember his name. Here he is next to the jet part of Flywheels. Yes, I know his name is Skytread, but I'm going to call him Flywheels, so deal with it. And here he is next to one of my favorite things I've ever done to one of my Transformers, my Titans Return Dogfight. Now you're all thinking, oh no, that's Trigger Happy. Yes, it's Trigger Happy, but he has Dogfight. I repro labeled him into an Autobot, so yeah. <laughs> Transformation for him. We'll go ahead and take the guns off. Um, the guns are both the same. Nothing special about them. And then you have the traditional hand foot peg. So I like to make him a um, limb. So go ahead and put it in hand mode. So we're trying to start off his transformation. First we'll lift the tail fin up. Fold these in. And then we'll fold the wings up. Next we'll come to the arms. Unpeg them. Nah. Sorry about that. Unpe Next we'll come to the arms and we'll unpeg them. Lift them up. And keep them like that for right now. Come to this part of the leg. And pull it out. That way you are able to unconnect uh, this part from the back. Extend the legs. Straighten them out. At this point you can pull them apart. And this peg will peg into that slot right where my finger's pointing. Put it on both sides. And then you can just fold the wings in if you want. I prefer to do that because it makes it look better. Fold the arms down the elbows. Take the canopy. Put one thumb here and a finger here on top of the nose cone and pull it forward, unhooking it, bring it down, and fold this up and it'll peg into place. Make sure the landing gear is in good place. And then rotate the head around a full three, uh, 180? Yeah, 180. And there you have Blast Off in his robot mode. And the camera up. Yeah, and then we have Blast Off in his robot mode. I do like his chest plate now. Um, not a big fan of the head. Very, very white. All it, there is red on the eyes, but I do like the chest. Uh, Posability. Head is on a ball joint. Shoulders are on a ball joint and a hinge. Biceps over just above the elbow with an elbow joint. About 90 degrees. Legs can move forward this far. 
it can go back that far. Uh, about 90 degree bend at the knee, no foot articulation. And he can hold his weapons very, very well and neatly. And give his stance. There we go. Yeah, look at my guns. You like my guns? <laughs> <laughs> I do like him. Just not a big fan of the white on him. Oh yeah, and he does have a waist swivel. Forgot, always forget about that part. Uh, size comparison, here he is next to Age of Extinction uh, Drift. Here he is next to Age of Extinction Scorn. And here he is next to com Power Core Combiner's, um, fuck, Fudge, I forgot his name, but the black repaint of what was known as Huffer. So he comes about to his weight, to his chest plate. Sorry, I have something holding my phone and it's not doing a good job at it. Um. To get him into his uh, limb mode, which is basically his arm. Go ahead and turn his head around. Bring up the combiner peg. Peg the legs together like so. If I can get them pegged together. There we go. Rotate at the waist. Take the arms and swing them back. Make sure the elbows are straight. Bring the shoulders up. And you're going to rotate the arm here. And then it's going to, you're going to bend it down. There's a little peg post right here. It's sticking out. Right at my finger's pointing. His will go, um, his fist will go in. Yeah, it goes that way. And you just do that on both arms and then oh sorry rotate the arm this way bend the knees so you have an elbow and then we plug in the fist um you can do but it he won't be able to hold anything you can also have the wings up like so i prefer to have them down it makes them look better but there you have him in his limb mode um, not much of a transformation. Leg mode is kind of the same thing. You just compress them, keep the arms and legs compressed, and just move this, move the wings, and then the combiner pegs pointing up. But yeah, there you guys have it. There is my review on Transformers Combiner Wars G2 Blastoff. I'm Windraiser, and I'll see you on the next review.